and succulent growers it's Lynn and in today's video this is a bit of an update on all my Slumbergera Slumberger cacti commonly known as Christmas and Thanksgiving cacti on how they are with their blooming now about a month possibly even two months ago when I did one of my uh, cacti and succulent plant polytunnel updates I mentioned that a lot of the Slumbergeras were all in bud and I normally have these uh, gorgeous cacti known as the Christmas or Thanksgiving cacti in bloom usually from anything from November, December, January at the latest and what is really weird guys it is now February in fact it's the third week of February I think it's the 22nd today and since November the majority of my Slumbergera cacti are still sitting in bud as you can see this is my um, my Slumberger Buckleyi and that this is one that's known as the true Christmas cactus because it has the scalloped edges to the leaves rather than the surrogated leaves and also the flowers sort of hang down as um, the truncat the Slumberger truncata more known as the thank the true Thanksgiving cactus has the flowers that are more upright and this has been in bud since November the buds have got bigger as you can see that's sort of getting ready to open and I'll show you some of my others this is my Slumberger truncata that's possibly about 70 years old or more and this has sat in bud buds are getting bigger so they are growing but it's just sitting in bud and this was all completely covered in bud around the December January to early January and a lot of the buds have fell off these are the only ones remaining on it and uh, I have a lot more here as you can see in the hanging baskets but I've never in my life guys ever ever had to wait so long to see my Slumberger cacti flower this late in the year and this is a bit of an absolute mystery I have got some flowers that have opened I'm going to show you now but they're all just sitting in bud as you can see um, I'm going to show you these ones that are blooming some of my, my uh, Slumberger seedlings that I've grown from seed and I have had, I've got my orange Brazil, my Slumberger Tendenza orange Brazil. That is in my bathroom in the house. Now that flowered for me in December. It's also re-blooming again at the moment with a gorgeous orange bloom. But that has bloomed perfectly okay. A little bit late in the year to re-bloom, but it's re-bloomed. It sort of bloomed at the normal time in December. But these, I'm not kidding you guys. Especially, I mean, this is my white blooming Slumberger truncata. And I'll show you, it's got the surrogated leaves. That's why it's more commonly known as the Thanksgiving cactus. And this is still holding on to buds. Again, this, this has dropped a few buds as well. And uh, never have I ever seen them take so long to open up their blooms. Third week in uh, February, guys. And I've come to the conclusion, I think they think that they're Easter cacti or something. I mean, this is another one of my true Christmas cactus Lumberger Buckleys that I've got here with them um, next to my Easter cactus. And this is all in lovely buds. Buds are getting bigger. Buds look like they're sort of getting there ready to open, but they have just been sitting like that now for two months. And my Easter cactus is actually starting to form buds already, little tiny buds on there, and also some on the other side side as well so happy to see that that's starting to come into bud maybe that might be blooming at Christmas and the Slumbergers might be blooming for Easter but guys this is mental and I wanted to do this little bit of an update here because the weirdest thing is I thought the reason why mine was so late opening their blooms and they're still waiting for the majority of them to open their blooms at this time of year instead of November or December I thought it was because we did have a very cold beginning to December and it was sort of about three celsius in here very cold have a heater on but the heater struggled to even keep it at three celsius and I think that put back a lot of the buds you know they didn't they weren't so easy to open up because of the cold temperatures we also had another bout of cold weather as well at the beginning of this month in February being very mild here now for the past few days and quite nice weather quite bright but 
I, I just I thought maybe that's because the cold weather must have set them back a little bit but the strange thing is I've seen on social media on the Facebook Slumberger posts and things a lot of people are saying that they're also noticing their Slumbergeras that seem to be also just hanging around in bud when normally they'd have been flowering in November and December and these people grow them in the house so they haven't change their position or anything like that it just seems to be odd and are these cacti communicating with each other all around the world and saying look we're going to flower a bit later this year we're going to be in competition with the easter cacti instead anyway enough of that let me know if you grow these lovely lovely cacti and uh, i i do have great success with growing them it's just a mystery this year why they're taking so long for the majority of them to fully open their their blooms i mean it is crazy guys but let me know if you grow these cacti and has yours bloomed for you yet or has it bloomed later than usual because i know i'm not the only one experiencing this strange phenomenon so then i'm going to show you what i have got that is blooming in my slumbergera collection now these are my slumbergera seedlings that i've grown myself from seed very happy that some of them well nearly all of them are blooming for the very in, either in bud or blooming for the first time that i've grown from seed i grew these from seed about three years ago three to four years ago this one i think was about five years ago and happy to see they are all in bud very healthy different colors this one is absolutely gorgeous it's a lovely pink one just look at that guys fuchsia pink and i think this is one i must have i i, I cross pollinated so many that i don't know what i cross pollinated them with and a lot of the labels have faded but this is a bright pink one and uh, very gorgeous there as you can see and uh, this one is one I know I cross pollinated with my red flowering and my white flowering one which is that one over there and this looks like it's also going to be a bright pink fuchsia bloom lovely pink um, buds there it's gonna be gorgeous when they open and this is what I'm really happy about guys this one here is my gold charm um, slumberger that has gorgeous gold colored blooms and i cross pollinated it i think i cross pollinated with itself it had two or three flowers i did a video at the time when i did cross pollinate it or i'm pretty sure i did and uh I'm happy to see that it's actually blooming so much like the true colour of the gold charm. And look at that. It's got a gorgeous pink running through the middle of it there. But it's pretty much golden. And I'm very happy about that because the actual mother plant, the first year I got it, it had gold blooms. And I think the second year, and then it went on to sort of have pink blooms mainly because of the temperature difference in the polytunnel to my house um where i used to have it in my conservatory at my old house and it got a lot more heat and probably a lot more sun as well and it was lovely golden blooms and then it, out in the polytunnel where it's cooler temperatures it sort of went pink but this is the seedling that i grown from seeds from that pollination and very happy to see it's very golden so isn't that just gorge guys and here another one of my um, seedlings, Slumberger seedlings as well in bud for the first time. So I wish I could show you more blooms, guys. But hopefully this time next month, well, maybe just in time for Easter, I'm going to have a lot of beautiful blooms to show you. Complete mystery. I've never experienced the blooming taking so long ever in my life. And I've grown Slumbergera cacti for decades. But the plants are healthy and they're doing okay. I've got this other hanging basket here as well which is a mixture of, of slumberger truncata thanksgiving also this is sort of been blooming beautiful bright fuchsia bright fuchsia blooms gorgeous and this basket here is the only one that's been pretty much blooming early from the november december time i've got a mixture of a few different types in there still the majority of them in bud but they have a lot of them have been blooming as you can see there but uh my gosh it just seem to be taking so long so that's the update and uh Hopefully, the next update I do on these, I'm going to be able to show you a lot more coming into bud. So that's the update on the slumbergers. If you want to know how to cross-pollinate them when they're flowering to get seed, it's obviously much easier to grow them from cuttings, but I love growing from seed. Then do check out the video. Well, I've made many videos on cross-pollinating slumberger, Christmas and Thanksgiving cat. Also how to sow the seeds and, and also updates on the seedlings as well. So I'll link all them videos up above and down below in the video description as well. And a bit of an update on all my other cacti. Stay tuned for a video. I'll do an update on uh, the rest of the cacti and succulent collection 
Um, I've got a lot of succulents coming into bud and flower. A lot of the other cacti are pretty much still in their winter dormancy stage. Usually the first to wake up are the Camaceras and the Raybouchias, but probably a bit too early for them just yet. Other than that, they all seem to have come through most of the cold spell pretty much okay. So do stay tuned for regular updates. So thank you so much for watching everyone. For lots more tips and tricks, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Do click the notification bell and give this video a like. You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook at Desert Plants of Avalon. And for more growing tips, do check out the many articles on my website, desertplantsofavalon.com. And by the way, I've also made a care video on how to care for Christmas and Thanksgiving cactus. So also do check that out. I want to wish you all an amazing flower powered cactus day hurry up and flower you're not easter cacti you're christmas and thanksgiving cacti